Hi, Ralph here, Noisebusters. Um, in this second video of the Bitwig Basics, I show how you record <coughs> something into Bitwig. So we start with the MIDI channel. So if I select this, I have this um, blank area here. If I double click this one, it opens the browser. So we choose one of Bitwig's synthesizers. Here we go, and when I select the instrument, I can also switch to the presets directly and then choose some of the sounds. Well, let's do this. Okay, we take this. And then you can, if you activate the record button, I'm going here and then playing. Now it's recording your MIDI information. Um, what I like to do most of the times, instead recording it straight into the arrangement, I open the clip launcher and then start recording there because if I stop the recording I then have uh, a perfect cut it loop you know so let's try this see and then I can drag it drop in wherever I want <clears throat> so also when you click the MIDI track you have uh, different options here so you can you see the polysynth here you can apply effects you can also apply effects here and um, also if you click the clip itself then you can change the settings here so you can change the start point, the, the length, how long the clip is, and then um, other stuff as well. And you can change different stuff, like if you double click, you go into the editor, and then you can move things around or change settings select for example three notes then I can change them together in the in the inspector so keep an eye on the inspector is always quite handy next to it to change stuff quickly if I go into audio same thing now you hear or you see my voice is coming in because I selected that track and here I can select all the other inputs from my sound card so now I selected my sub 37 and I could record something here as well for example okay um, what's also handy in Bitwig is like if I have a MIDI clip here and then I can say bounce in place so it's audio out of it and I can do another MIDI clip next to it that's quite handy and it's very good for a good overview and uh, make stuff easy so I stop here and coming up soon with another one from the Bitwig Basics. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know.